Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this uh, Monday. It's Labor Day, the 4th of September. I took a few days off late last week. Uh, give myself a little bit of a break from cutting videos all day long. So now we're back to normal and we are in the midst of a heat wave in the eastern part of the United States. It's kind of strange that we've waited all summer long to get to this point because for the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states, it's been actually quite quite hard to string together three days in a row of 90 degree heat let alone five uh, but uh, we're going to be doing that uh, because I think we're going to probably see 90 degree highs right into Friday uh, also a little bit of a surprise overnight in this morning a little upper trough came down southeastward from eastern Canada and produced a couple of uh, lines of thunderstorms uh, they're weakening now and you can see that most of the northeast is fine uh, with mostly sunny skies. The southeast is definitely fine with sunny skies everywhere. And it's relatively quiet across much of the United States, except up in the northwest where we do have some activity going on. And it's really all about high pressure centered in the central Appalachians. Uh, we're dealing with a west wind today, so that's going to take temperatures up into the low and middle 90s. And some places uh, in Maryland and down into Virginia over the next couple of days will be in the mid to upper 90s. So uh, don't be surprised if you hear about record highs being set as we move through this week, uh, especially in areas in, in, in towns that have small data sets that don't go back very far. Uh, because a lot of the records of the big cities are in the upper 90s uh, for, the, for the most part. So those might be a little bit tough to do, but not impossible. Meanwhile, as we check out the radar this morning, you see some dying showers and storms in northern New Jersey moving southeastward. Also a couple in South Jersey. They're going to be gone before too long. And then it's just hot and humid for the rest of the day. The Storm Prediction Center uh, has nothing as far as thunderstorms are concerned up and down the East Coast uh, for uh, the rest of today and into tonight, although we do have a slight risk up in the Dakotas and a marginal risk uh, in Arkansas and into southern Missouri. Over the next couple of days, we're looking at a uh, slight risk tomorrow in the northwestern Great Lakes and a marginal risk uh, in Arkansas, western Tennessee, and northwestern Mississippi. And then as we move on into Wednesday, we are seeing a marginal risk uh, from the lower lakes south uh, into uh Tennessee and northeastern Arkansas so we're going to be in pretty good shape here in the east the thunderstorm activity will be minimal if at all uh, for the next several days it'll start to pick up when we get into Thursday with the next cold front and uh, the weather prediction folks uh, for the next seven days showing a half to three quarters of an inch uh, for much of the uh, coastal mid-Atlantic and then sort of moving on up uh, into upstate New York and New England uh, the southeast is mostly dry, but we have uh, some heavier precip in the uh, lower and middle Mississippi Valley and into parts of the Missouri River Valley and also back up into the northern plains. Uh, just want to give a quick look here. Let's um, take a look at what's going on in the tropics because <clears throat> we had a bunch of storms. Uh, they all seem to be absorbing each other. Uh, you've got uh, Katia. Uh, which is uh, what's left of it anyway, is out here in the tropical Atlantic. Doesn't have a whole lot of convection with it. You've got Gert that is uh, streaking northward, and that is uh, going to uh, soon disappear uh, from uh, from the maps. And then we have what looks like a well-developed, certainly mid-level circulation here with a tropical wave that's moving across the tropical Atlantic west of the Cabo Verde Islands. This is going to become a tropical depression and probably a tropical storm late this week. Looks like it's going to try to take a track west or west-northwest. So we'll be uh, seeing it getting closer to the uh, U.S. East Coast, perhaps uh, late this coming week or this week, more than likely this weekend uh, and into early next week, I should say. And we'll see if that's going to have any uh, implications for the East Coast. So one of the things I just want to point out when we look at the upper air uh, for this week, we've got this ridge in the eastern part of the United States. So that's preventing the Canadian jet from sending weather fronts through. That was the story all summer long in the northeast and mid-Atlantic states. However, that ridge is going to break down, and <clears throat> as far as whether we're going to see any kind of uh, issues, it will be a matter of whether 
tr the trough uh, in the eastern part of the United States gets set up again. And where does it set up? Uh, so at the end of the week, we've got one that moves uh, from the Great Lakes into the southeast. Thankfully, there's no tropical storms off the east coast uh, late this week because with that type of upper flow, it would shoot right up. It's after that that you start to see the approach of this next tropical system. And the European drops this very strong trough into the eastern part of the United States. And that would recurve this uh, out to sea. Uh, the GFS uh, on a number of runs uh, has, uh, of course, it's got to have a different look, a much weaker northern trough, which pretty much misses that. And then a stronger trough that develops to the west and brings it up the east coast. Now, this is where we are in the long range at this point. And this uh, GFS run showing this is off character to what we've seen all summer. So if I had to bet at the moment, I would favor the idea of a stronger East Coast trough the way the European has it, which would recurve it out to the east. I'm not ruling the GFS out, but I'm just sort of I'm just saying that that's, you know, the trend is always your friend. Uh, in the world of weather unless proven otherwise so we know what to look for we'll see where it goes in the next couple of days in the meantime it's just heat and humidity uh, for today tomorrow wednesday uh, thursday friday and thursday and friday we've got a front approaching you can see there's some showers and thunderstorms with that late uh, thursday and thursday night and then the front kind of gets hung up along the coast with more showers and storms friday and then next week is going to hinge on which models got the right view. Uh, if the Europeans right, it'll be cooler and drier. If the GFS is right, we're going to have rain issues and a tropical system to look at east of the Bahamas. So long way to go with this. And in the meantime, we've got the Joe and Joe weather show, which has been on a break this weekend. We'll be back tonight at 735 p.m. So we hope to see you then.